Imagine a world powered by an energy source that is virtually limitless, clean, and produces no long-lasting nuclear waste. This is not science fiction, but the tantalizing promise of nuclear fusion, the same process that powers our sun. Scientists and engineers have been pursuing this dream for decades, but despite recent breakthroughs, significant hurdles remain. Nuclear fusion occurs when two light atomic nuclei, such as hydrogen isotopes, are forced together under extreme pressure and temperature to form a heavier nucleus. This process releases enormous amounts of energy, far more than traditional nuclear fission, which splits heavy atoms like uranium. Unlike fission, fusion does not produce harmful radioactive byproducts or pose the risk of catastrophic meltdowns. Moreover, its primary fuel, hydrogen, is abundant, with seawater containing enough deuterium and tritium to power the planet for millions of years. In December 2022, researchers at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in California achieved a groundbreaking milestone. For the first time, a fusion experiment produced more energy than it consumed. Using a process called inertial confinement fusion, they fired 192 high-powered lasers at a tiny pellet of hydrogen fuel, generating 3.1 megajoules of energy from 2.05 megajoules of input, a net gain of around 54%. Meanwhile, the ITER project in France, the world's largest international fusion experiment, is set to test its tokamak reactor by 2035. A tokamak uses magnetic fields to contain and stabilize superheated plasma at temperatures exceeding 150 million degrees Celsius, 10 times hotter than the sun's core. While these achievements are promising, scaling fusion to power grids remains a monumental task. Here are the key engineering challenges. Fusion reactions require plasma to remain stable at ultra-high temperatures for extended periods. Containing plasma at such temperatures is like holding a miniature sun with invisible magnetic hands, an engineering feat of extraordinary complexity. Despite recent advances, most fusion experiments consume more energy than they generate. For fusion to be commercially viable, the energy output must far exceed the input, a ratio called Q-factor. The ultimate goal is achieving a Q-factor of 10 or higher. Fusion reactors operate in extreme environments, with neutrons bombarding the reactor walls at high speeds. Developing materials that can withstand this constant assault without degrading is a significant challenge. Building and maintaining fusion reactors is prohibitively expensive. ITER's construction costs alone are projected to exceed $22 billion. Commercializing fusion will require cost-effective solutions for large-scale deployment. If these challenges can be overcome, the rewards are enormous. Fusion could provide a nearly inexhaustible supply of clean energy, reduce greenhouse gas emissions and transform energy economics. According to the International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, a single gram of fusion fuel could generate as much energy as eight tons of oil without the carbon footprint. Fusion has the potential to supply 25% of global energy needs by 2100, according to optimistic scenarios from the Fusion Industry Association. Despite its promise, nuclear fusion is unlikely to contribute significantly to global energy supplies before 2050. Critics argue that renewable technologies like solar, wind and batteries are advancing rapidly and may outpace fusion in both cost and deployment speed. However, fusion advocates counter that a diversified energy mix is essential for long-term sustainability and fusion could play a critical role in meeting growing energy demands without further damaging the planet. 
Nuclear fusion represents one of humanity's most ambitious engineering challenges and could revolutionize how we power our world. The journey is far from over, but every breakthrough brings us closer to unlocking the star's energy. While significant hurdles remain, the dream of harnessing fusion's limitless potential continues to inspire scientists, engineers, and visionaries worldwide. The question is no longer whether fusion is possible, but when, and whether we can muster the ingenuity, investment, and determination to make it a reality. Comment and subscribe if you like this video.